Hello biology class, Mrs. Bone here and I am um, in Upper Lithia Park along Ashland Creek by the Fairy Ponds, you may have heard of them. And right now I am in a mixed conifer forest uh, next to Ashland Creek, uh, surrounded by biodiversity. And right now I have this really big, big leaf maple leaf in my hand. It is much bigger than my face. It's huge. Look at how big this leaf is. Anyways, I just want to show you guys how scientists measure biodiversity. And that's by taking a bio blitz or a survey of the different species that are living in one designated area. So I'm going to use this area and I'm going to estimate how many trees and shrubs and herbaceous plants are in this area. The first tree I see is the Pacific Madrone with big green shiny leaves. I also see all these trees with bright yellow leaves. Those are the big leaf maple and I saw about 33 of those trees. I also saw Oregon ash, white alder, black walnut. And then when I looked at the conifer trees, the ones that have needles and cones, I found ponderosa pine trees, Douglas fir, and incense cedar. Let's take a closer look at this tree. The bark is really furrowed, which means it has these long, like strips of bark. Those are called furrows. There's some little tiny epiphytes growing on them, lichen. And when I go up, this tree's really tall. Whoa. We can kind of see that the needles are really short and kind of fluffy looking. Here is a cone from the same tree. And this one is really papery and not so spiky or pokey like the Ponderosa. And if you look at these little bracts, they call them, that stick out from each scale, they kind of look like little mouse tails that, like the mouse got scared and is hiding under the scale on the cone. So what kind of tree is this? Found a low growing version of the other tree and it has very green, soft needles that kind of grow like a bottle brush, you can tell. And they're about an inch long. Here's another plant that I'm commonly seeing with very shiny leaves and little spikes on the margins of the leaf. And there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaflets per leaf, per compound leaf. This is a compound leaf. And here's some more. And these usually have little blueberries on them, little grapes. And this is another state plant or state flower of Oregon. Can you name this plant? 